What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Hitmon Top and Typhlosion in ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Hitmon Top and Typhlosion, both of these Pokemon don't really get to see the meta or a lot of playtime in the rank ladder, or I should say on the rank ladder. But every time I use these Pokemon, I feel like we have a good time and I feel like we always grab some wins. So we're trying it out today. Starting off with Hitmon Top. Hitmon Top has one of the best abilities of all time with Intimidate. It's holding the Covert Cloak as item with the Steel Terror type. Then it's got Close Combat, Fake Out, Helping Hand, and Faint. So it can do big time damage, but it can also support ally Pokemon. Typhlosion, on the other hand, does not support ally Pokemon. It is here for big time damage and big time damage only. Typhlosion's got the Fire Terror type with Flash Fire, Choice Scarf as item, with Overheat, Eruption, Focus Blast, and Solar Bleam. Not to mention, we can pair it up with Murkrow. Murkrow can pop Sunny Day, allowing Typhlosion to just get after it and do an insane amount of damage. Now, our final three Pokemon on today's team features Golden Go, Dragapult, and Rillaboom. Golden Go and Dragapult complete the trio, considering Typhlosion's got the Choice Scarf, then Golden Go's got Choice Specs, and Dragapult's got the Choice Band. So we got all the Choice items rocking out for us. Golden Go's going to be a great special attacker, Dragapult's going to be a big time physical attacker, and Rillaboom is doing Rillaboom things, setting the terrain, faking out, doing respectable damage every time. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Hitmon on top and Typhlosion. First match coming at you guys, and it looks like we are going up against a Bash Legion and Archaloon on Rain Squad, which means Murkrow's got to come out here. We need somebody to change up the weather. We need some weather control to win this match. Murkrow, we're definitely bringing you in this matchup. They got three other Pokemon. They got Amoongus, they got Garchomp, and they got Golden Goat, just like us. How should we play this one, and who should we lead? Honestly, him on top's not bad here. I do like Fake Out. I do like having Helping Hand as well. Um, I could maybe just go into Murkrow to get things started. And if they don't lead the rain, then maybe just swap it. That is an option. That's not a bad option. That's not a bad option. But Pokemon that I think they're going to lead is probably like Pelipper or Archaludon, right? Or even Golden Go and Moongus could work. I think going in with the bird alongside with... Do we go with Typhlosion? I could just go in with my choice specs Pokemon and just choice a Pokemon into a move. That could work. That could definitely work. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to go Golden Go. We are going to go Murkrow. We are going to bring Typhlosion because I believe we could set up the sun. And last but not least, got to bring in that choice man Dragapult. It's just so fast, does so much damage. We got to bring it in here. We have got to bring in this Pokemon. So we'll see how they want to play this one. We'll see what they want to do. But hopefully we can win the Weather War and ultimately win this game. But I do think they leave Pelipper. If not, I mean, that's fine. That'd be fine by me. I feel like our, the biggest threat is Archaludon every time. Every time Archaludon's like even in the vicinity. Like whenever you see Archaludon, you're just like, all right, that's a problem. That's a problem. And they're going to end up leading Garchomp and Amoongus, which uh, I don't mind. I mean, I got to watch out for those ground moves here. I could set up a Tailwind, which could actually be really good. Um... What is your terror type though? You got steel, which honestly, honestly, we don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. But I mean, with a tailwind here, we could just rip like a steel, make it rain. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my terror type. Just pop a make it rain. Just get off a ridiculous amount of damage. It just does so much damage. But we'll see an Amuga swap here. And are you gonna go into Arch Ludon? Hopefully not. Hopefully not, right? It's gonna be Pelipper. All right, I don't mind Pelipper because now that Rain's on the field, I can switch it up next turn. And if you're going for like a Stomping Tantrum or something to take out my Golden Go, as long as I get off and make it Rain, I can just go into Typhlosion here and then just go into uh, Eruption, Sunny Day. All right, I'm with this. I'm with this. So Golden Go, getting that Steel Terror right off the rip. Pop a nice, lovely Tailwind for the squad. Make it Rain's flying. All right, how much damage are we doing here? How much damage? With the choice specs, you gotta remember. You gotta remember, it's with the choice specs, so damage is absurd. We're gonna end up picking up a KO onto Garchomp. Um, definitely wanna pop a sunny day after this, and we'll see who they wanna go into. We'll see. It's probably the rain Pokemon. Probably Basque Legion. Nope, it's gonna be Amoongus, so Amoongus, that's fine by me. I mean, do I really wanna change up weather right now? I kinda do. I kind of do. So, yeah, we're just going to change up weather. I could swap, but I just feel like make it range to play right now, especially with the Steel Terra. Pelipper's just going to protect. That's fine. That's cool with me. That is cool with me. The Sunny Day is going to come out here. And I might even swap Gold and go next turn. He's looking to put somebody to sleep. He's looking to put the squad to sleep. 
That's what that protect tells me. That protect tells me you want to put me to sleep. To make it rain flies here, honestly, I could just haze this turn if I want to. And he's going to spore my Murkrow. Wow, I was going to haze my, my own Pokemon. Hmm, alright. I was going to haze the, the field just so I get my, my stats back. But honestly, I mean, we're looking pretty, pretty snazzy here. I think there's a hot chance that you do swap... That you do swap Pelipper here, so I am just gonna go into a swap of Golden Go, and if I can, I mean, I don't really know what else I should do here. I guess I could haze. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't attack with you. The thing is, I think that you're gonna swap. What's it called? I do think you're gonna swap Pelipper. So I think just like trying to wake up our uh, our our Pel or not Pelipper, our Murkrow at this time is probably the best for our turns. So I think you want the rain, right? You definitely want the rain. So I'm going to go into Typhlosion. I'm going to get my stats back and reset my choice specs, which is good. Just in case Arch Ludon's there. And there's the withdrawal of Pelper. The Pelper comes out. Um, I might even swap Typhlosion next turn. Okay, it's going to be Basket Legion. I'm, I'm, I'm more at ease here. I'd rather see Basket Legion than any other Pokemon. He's just going to Palm Puff here, which is totally fine. Just a free turn. Luckily, he didn't put my Typhlosion to sleep. Now, we already know that what's called is coming back out here. We already know that that uh, Pelipper's coming back out here. So I'm going to try to go for Sunny Day if I can. And I'm going to hard swap into Pole here. Or do I just go back into Golden Go? I think it's Typhlosion. Eh. Not that good. I kind of need to wake up, though. Do I go into Pole? You're really fast, Pole. That's thing. He's going to go for Water Movement this time. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go into Golden Go here. Play it simple. So I'm going to swap Typhlosion back. I'm really hoping Murkrow can wake up. The Spore really doing me dirty. The Spore really doing me dirty. Maybe I should just KO the Amoongus here. But I mean, he's swapping the Amoongus. Yeah. So he swaps Amoongus. Probably should have stayed on the field, to be honest with you. And just KO the Pelipper. Just so I don't have to worry about rain again. Murkrow, can you wake up? If Murkrow wakes up here, that'd be gorgeous. That'd be lovely. That'd be, that'd be a huge sight to see. But instead, they're going to go into Bash Legion Terror type into straight water. So he's probably KO whichever slot he wants to here. And honestly, Typhlosion's going to outspeed. Murkrow is still, still going to be slumped, which kind of kind of irks me the wrong way. And he's going to go into a Wave Crash. And who you taking out here? It's literally pick your poison. So, bye-bye to our Golden Go. That's fine. Um, Murkrow, you got to wake up here. You have got to wake up here. No three-turn sleeps around here. No three-turn sleeps. We don't want that. We don't want that. So recoil damage flies. Um, going in Dragapult is probably our best option. Would I rather go into a Tailwind here or a Sunny Day? That's the real question. Tailwind or Sunny Day? I'm not sure if we're going to wake up. I mean, obviously Sunny Day would probably be the better call. So I'm just going to go for Sunny Day. But I'm not sure if we're going to wake up, but I'm going to go for Dragon Darts. The Dragon Darts going to fly. There is a chance that they do swap Pelipper right here. And they are going to swap Pelipper. So can I please, please, please wake up. I just need to wake up. If I wake up here, come on now. I'm going to be sitting in a great position. Murkrow. Come on, Murkrow. Slumped. Murkrow slumped. Last respect's going to fly. Three turns sleep just doing me dirty. I mean, I got Typhlosion and Raider Roll. I got Typhlosion right here, and honestly, I can still win this game. I can still win this game, because Murkrow's guaranteed to wake up here. Which means Sunny Day can fly. Even if you swap into Pelipper here, Sunny Day's still going to fly, and I just got to hope that it KOs this Bash Legion. Sunny Day Eruption. It's going to KO the Moongus. It's going to KO the Pelipper. Pelipper's low enough. It literally comes down to, is it going to KO this uh, Bash Legion? Which, I mean, we already got some nice damage shipping up. We already got some nice damage shipping up. But really, a three-turn sleep just hurts his soul. It really does. But Sunny Day is going to come out here. We're now faster than both of these guys. Eruption. Going to KO the Moongus all day. Is he going to KO the Basket Legion? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you going for? Are you going for Wave Crash? Last respect. Okay, hold up. How much damage is done? Enough. Enough damage. That hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. Now it turns into a 1v1, and honestly, I'm going to hope that they cancel the match. I don't have a hitting move, but I don't think they know that. 
So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna hope that they cancel match, even though I, I should probably just run this match. Because I do not have a hitting move. I simply cannot hit him. Why don't I have foul play on this Murkrow? I really don't have any hitting move on this thing. Can you cancel the match? I'm really hoping they just cancel the match. <laughs> this is terrible. Guess I'll go for Tailwind. Cancel match. No, they don't. I don't have a hitting move. I do not have a hitting move. Hurricane's gonna launch. And yeah, I'm gonna lose this one all day. Hopefully they cancel. I'm just gonna click Tailwind again. Not a hitting move. That hurts, man. That That's a rough match to lose. That's a real rough match to lose. Honestly worked their opponent. Came down to Murkrow. Did not KO with Eruption. And then we just didn't have a hitting move with Murkrow. So I want to get this video started. Moving on to match number two. Looking to bounce back from that devastating loss. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a win here. I can't believe a Murkrow doesn't have foul play. Really hurts the soul. But they got Incineroar. They're rocking out with Wimscott. They also got Sneasler, Ursaluna, Dragonite, and Golden Go. How should we lead this one? Who should we play? There is a chance that they lead Incineroar with Fake Out. I could go him on top and intimidate back to him. And have Fake Out option as well. Um, hmm. Who else could they lead? They could lead Golden Go and Wimscott. That wouldn't be bad. Honestly, going into maybe like Murkrow and Golden Go could be pretty good for me. What do I want to do? Or I could just go in with two Ghost types, which I think is our best option. Double Choice, Double Ghost. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I am all about it. We're going to go into both of them. In the back end, I will like actually hit my top here. Such solid Pokemon, Intimidate can work wonders. And then do we just go like Rillaboom here? I feel like Rillaboom could definitely be clutch, so I'm just going to go Rillaboom. So, no Typhoid here, no Murkrow. They kind of let me down in match number one, so we're putting them on the bench here. We are putting them on the bench. So, we're on one. Let's see who they end up leading here. Double Ghost. I think I can just like choice in to make it rain and Dragon Darts here, which could be really good. If they want to go into Intimidate with Incineroar, that really won't affect us at all. They do. They go Wimscott and Incineroar. So I'm just got Incineroar come out here. Um, hmm. Slight issue here. Slight issue would be Tailwind knockoff. But I wonder who they would send that into. Because I want to just go here and just Dragon Darts this slot down. That's really my play. And you know what? We're just going to pop Mega Rain. That's the thing. I think they would rather go after Dragapult. Knock off my choice ban, but still, I would do a really good amount of damage. And I'm kind of hoping Dragapult would still outspeed after Tailwind. That's really where I'm at. So let's just see what they end up doing. So I'm just going to go into this Dragon Tower here, because there is a nice little chance that they, they go Tailwind knock off into Dragapult slot. I would think they would want to do that into Dragapult rather than Golden Go. So I'm going to Terrestrialize the Dragapult into straight Dragon. And look to just be able to rip up some damage here. Alright, no Tailwind. That's, that, that's good news for me. It looks like he wants to go for a Moonblast. And this is not going to KO Incineroar, which actually really bothers me. Really bothers me. Moonblast flies in this slot. Soak it. And Knockoff's going to fly. But Golden Go, I think, can outspeed here. I don't mind Dragapult dying as long as Golden Go can, you know, just pick up some KOs here. Let's see what you got, Golden Go. There's one. All right, and then he's going to focus Ash up on the next one. So he'll end up popping a Tailwind. I'll take that all day. It's not a... Not a bad turn for us, but definitely could have been better. Definitely could have been better. I was really hoping that Dragon Darts would have KO'd. That's why I Terrastalized it. Maybe I should have went into an Outrage instead. The Dragon Darts just does a ridiculous amount of damage. But from here, I can actually just fake out and KO the Wimscott. Or just faint it. And read a Protect. There is a chance that he protects. I'm going to go into you. And then we're just going to swap Golden Go into Rillaboom, probably. Because we really don't want him getting off Tailwind, to be honest with you. He's going to bring out Ursaluna. So Ursaluna comes out here. Not terrible. Not terrible. And then from here, we are just going to fake out the Wimscott. Again, we just don't want him to get off that move. And then we will just go into Rillaboom here. We don't want him to get off Tailwind. That's, that, that's the whole issue here. We don't want him to get off Tailwind. So they still have Terra. Probably normal Terra on Ursa Luna. They probably don't want to send it on the Wimscott. And I'm just going to end up hard swapping our Rillaboom. There's a chance that they do protect Ursa Luna, which would be awesome. That would be amazing. And let's see what Wimscott does here. Is Wimscott protecting? That's the real question. 
That is the real question at hand. And we're going to end up seeing a Terra type from Ursaluna. Is this going to be normal? Yep, nice little normal Terra pops out here. Oh, Fairy. Fairy. All right. Fairy Terra. So close combat. Not going to work anything on us. We do have Goldigo, which is awesome. Goldigo is ready to go. Fake Out is going to pick up the KO on the Whimscott, which is huge. And I can fake out this next turn and just start chunking away some damage. So I'm not too worried about... I'm not too worried about Ursaluna, considering I have Gold to go choice specs with Make It Rain, who's outspeeding that Pokemon. So, Ursaluna, I'm not that worried about. On the other hand, this final Pokemon, whatever it is, this is the Pokemon that I want to take out, and it's going to be Sneasler. It is going to be Sneasler. So, yeah, we're attacking this bad boy. Even though Close Combat doesn't really do that much damage, we have to attack this thing. So, from here, I'm just going to fake it out and try to do as much damage as I can, because I do think one Make It Rain from Golden Go will pick up the KO. And I don't really think they have enough moves to KO me, right? Unless Ursuline is outspeeding. There is a chance that Ursuline does outspeed my Golden Go. But Fake Out's going to fly. Shape up some damage on the Sneasler. We are going to flinch. And Close Combat is going to launch. And how much damage are we doing? Not bad. Not bad. My defense does drop. And Ursuline is gonna, just going to rip an Earth Power. Which might KO me. No, it doesn't. Cool. So Sneasel's going to get back some HP. Uh, I know he wants to go into Dire Claw. I already know he wants to go into Dire Claw. And I'm thinking the combination of Close Combat and Grassy Glide can just pick up the KO onto you. So that's kind of where I'm at. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I think Sneasel goes for Dire Claw, right? He just takes out Rollboom. No, Sneasel protects. That's a good protect. That's a great protect from him. So he's going to want to take out the hit on top here, it looks like. I should have just went with my gut. I was, I was actually thinking of dropping a Faint. And that's not, not just for, like, protect options, just because of how little damage Close Combat's doing. And I really don't want to lower my defense anymore. But Hyper Voice is going to launch a pickup KO. I'm sitting here with Golden Go and Robum. All I need is Golden Go to pretty much outspeed the, uh, outspeed the Ursaluna. If Golden Go outspeeds Ursaluna, we pretty much just win this game. That's literally all it comes down to. It's honestly all it comes down to. And I actually don't know because some Ursalunas are built really fast. 136, though. You're maxed out on speed, Golden Go. I have so much faith in you. I have so much faith in you. So I'm going to pop a Make It Rain. And if I can, I mean, Make It Rain is definitely going to kill the Sneasler. I'm just going to chip up a little bit of damage on the Ursaluna. So Grass Glide flies. No protects from their team. Golden Go, can you outspeed? You got Throw Chop. I survived that, though, which is massive. And I outspeed that game. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Beautiful. Like I said, I wasn't worried about the Ursaluna at all. It was more so the Sneasler and they turn off their console. But yeah, I was telling you guys, if I, I can just outspeed this Ursaluna, it's game over. I got myself a choice specs goal to go in the back end. And that's exa exactly what happened. So we're sitting one on one. Let's go hop into our third. Time for our third and final match. And we are going up against Charizard. Now, they have no Sunsetter, right? Maybe Charizard sets its own sun? Do any of these Pokemon learn Sunny Day? It doesn't really look like it. But they got Power Spot Stone Journal, which powers up ally Pokemon damage. So that could be scary, especially with Charizard. But for our lead, I actually really just like Murkrow and Typhlosion. I feel like just going in the Sunny Day could be very good for us, depending on who they lead, first and foremost. They do have uh, Eviolite Scyther, which could pop a Tailwind. It could be really strong, but I think going into these two, maybe even setting up a Tailwind and kind of just getting after it that way is going to be good for us. And then we'll bring Dragapult, and last but not least, who do I want here? Could go Hitmontop, could go Rillaboom. We're kind of leaning towards Rillaboom. Rillaboom's just a solid Pokemon all around. And yeah, I am going to go Rillaboom, just a nice little fake out user. So, Time Flourish and Murkrow here, looking to kind of clutch up here, grab ourselves a winning record. We are sitting 1-1 one and one. That last match, made our opponent quit, which was absolutely amazing. Always a good time whenever you see that that disconnected error message pop up. It's, you, you know you're doing something right. But I wonder who's going to lead because this is kind of weird. It's like they have Charizard, but it doesn't look like they have a Sunny Day user besides maybe Charizard. But maybe they just think we're going to set the sun? I don't really know. I don't really know. But I'm choice scarf. I will outspeed all these guys. I think just going into a Fire Terror Eruption is hands down my play. So I'm going to go Sunny Day. I'm going to go Fire Terror Eruption. I know Charizard, obviously, is a fire type, but it's still going to do respectable damage. Like, Eruption is just so strong. It really is. And they have no first turn priority here. So Scyther could look to go set up a Tailwind. <clears throat> Either way, that force is going to be able to outspeed it first and foremost. 
They could end up terrestrializing Scyther, though. But that's the thing, yo. Scyther is just, like, such a dope Pokemon. Like, even without the evolution of, like, Scizor or Cleaver, like, Scyther, he's a, he's a dope Pokemon. He is so cool. Like, he doesn't need an evolution, even though his evolutions are so sick. They really are. Scyther on the field. Charizard, they're thinking of what they should do. I'm going to hit that Terra button. Fire Terra coming at you guys. Fire Terra on its way. Typhlosion looking to do it. Typhlosion's looking to do him dirty. Get it, Typhlosion. Get it. Get it. Sunny day flying. Here's a little bit of sun action for you, Typhlosion. You go to town. Eruption flying. No terror comes out from them. This Scyther is hands down gone. Unless for some reason it's focus hashed. And it's not. And Charizard's taking almost half damage, which is, which is respectable. Real respectable. Now, what's our Charizard going to do? Go for an Air Slash, maybe? Focus Blast. Into Murkrow? Into Typhlosion, and I dodge it. Which means I can rip another Eruption at full HP. And I can set up a Tailwind. Dragapult's going to come out here, though. Which is, you know, a little rough, but still. I'd rather just keep getting off these Eruptions. So, I'm just going to go Tailwind. Tailwind, Eruption. I know it's not very effective, but still, the damage output's great. Um, we should bring Charizard real low in the red, or even KO it. And if not, Solar Power is going to pick up the KO at the end of it. But getting off this Tailwind is huge. Getting off one less Eruption, even though it's not very effective, is still huge. The damage is just a lot. Like, look at that damage. Charizard gone. Dragapult almost gone. We got a crit on the Charizard, but still. Dragapult taking a huge chunk of damage. And we get off Tailwind for my other Pokemon. The Dragon Darts launches. Does great damage. Another Eruption could actually take place and be good. And I think that's what I should do. I think I should just erupt until Typhlosion just dies out here. Just keep doing damage. Because once he dies out, we just bring out Dragapult and win this game. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It is pretty simple. Uh, there's no need to haze. I guess I could quash. I, I really don't know what to do here. I really don't want to swap him either because I don't want any other Pokemon taking a lot of damage. So, I mean, I guess I'll quash. I guess I'll quash the Gengar. Maybe it's choice. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. And they just cancel match. So, easy third and final match. Typhlosion sweeps it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Rocking out with Typhlosion and Hitmontop in ranked regulation H. The only thing I did not like about this team was Murkrow not having a hitting move. Other than that, this team was phenomenal. Like you guys just seen, we grabbed ourselves a winning record. And everything went perfect. Hitmontop was killing it with fake outs, close combats. Typhlosion doing Typhlosion things. Come on, man. Setting up Sunny Day with Murkrow. Eruption just going crazy. You guys seen it in match number three where we swept our opponent. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.